Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the uh, new motors from iFlight RC. These are the Ion motors. This is their new lineup. Uh, you probably noticed that they've had they've changed the color from the red, which is the I guess the Force line, to the Ion line, which is now silver and black, which I think looks nicer. Uh, they sent me their pretty much their whole lineup. Uh, I believe the 2207 and the 202506 also come in 1600 kV, but I've got the all the higher kV motors for the three here. I'll start off here with the 2205 motor here. So the 2205 2500 kV. Um, all of the motors here have the basic same construction. Uh, 7075 aluminum in the bell and in the base. Uh, single strand wound wire. It's a copper wire there. The uh, magnets are N52H arc magnets, so they're curved. They all have a hollow steel shaft and a set screw on the bottom and they've all um, got these 18 gauge wires here although the 2205 and the 2207 motor here have the shorter wires while the 2506 motor here has a much longer wire. And here's what the 2207 looks like. Obviously it's a little bit bigger, just a taller stator but the construction you can see is the same, design is the same. Um, I'll give you weight measurements here in a second. And here's the 2506 motor, much, much larger. And I think we could take a look at the magnets here and also the spacing between the bell and the stator. Fairly close, but not super close. And these magnets aren't super thick, so there is some cogging here, but it's not like it's like gripping the bell where you can't really turn it like on some motors. So I, I don't think these are going to run all that hot. And here's the uh, 2205 next to the 2207. You can see it's a little bit taller stator, so you're going to have just a little bit more power. And here's the 2207 next to the 2506. The 2506 is obviously a little bit shorter. But if you look at the profile from the top, the bell is obviously, and stator is going to be larger on the 2506. Okay, this is the measurement of the bell on the 2205 motor, 27 and a half millimeters. The 2207 is the same, 27 and a half millimeters. And the 2506 is coming in at 30.7 millimeters. Okay, so the height of the bell on the 2205 motor comes in at 10.3 millimeters. The height of the bell on the 2207 is about 12.4 millimeters. And on the 2506 it comes in at about 11.8 millimeters. Get some weight measurements here and I'm going to uh, weigh these without the lock nut on. 25 or 2205 comes in at 30.45 grams and the 2207 is 36.63 grams the 2506 motor comes in at 42.3 grams now keep in mind the extra weight of the long wire here to account for that I'm not exactly sure how much that is going to be about maybe i would say two to three grams there so if you're wondering like what kind of a quad you want to put these on i'm thinking you know this 2205 motor is the lightest motor Probably want to put this on something like an ultralight, a uh, frame that's under 100 grams, and not carrying a GoPro. I think something like this would perform pretty well. And then if you, say, want to have something in the medium range and want to carry a GoPro, you probably want to move up to the 2207 motor. It's going to give you a little bit more power, more torque. And obviously, if you got a really heavy rig, some sort of freestyle rig, obviously not a racer, you might want to go for this really large 2506 motor. It's going to this is probably going to be a battery killer. I'm not 100% sure yet, but my thinking is it's a big, it's a big motor. You're going to need at least a 1500, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to be carrying a GoPro, um, probably a pretty heavier frame. So, uh, you know, a motor like this will do you well, but you're going to have to have a very good battery and a lot of capacity to take advantage of this motor here. Anyway, that's going to do it for this little overview uh, video of these three motors from iFlight RC. I'm obviously going to put these into builds in the future here. I'm not exactly sure what. I've got a hodgepodge of parts from a very variety of places. Um, sort of, I need to you know, figure out how to what what I want to put them in and, and such. I'm not really sure right now. But if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to get more specifications, thrust uh, thrust stand data kind of stuff, uh, check the links in the description below. Uh, there's going to be more information on their website. Hope you found this video helpful, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.